Hey guys, Constance here from Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So today I'm going to show you how to make these homemade, from scratch, cheddar biscuits. So to begin with, I have got my oven preheating over there at 450 degrees and the first thing I'm going to do is grate some cheddar cheese. Now I like to use sharp or at least medium cheddar cheese because it's going to give your biscuits a tremendous cheesy flavor. Of course you can use mild if that's what you have on hand as well. And I like to grate my own cheese because it's more cost effective for one thing. But also, I don't have to worry about the cheese being dry or any sort of additives that they put in um, some shredded cheese to keep it from sticking together. Now, this ingredient, you don't have to measure it precisely. You just want to kind of eyeball it. You want about a cup and a half of shredded cheese. And that's probably more than enough right there. So now I'm going to set the cheese aside for just a minute and I'm going to start on my dry ingredients. We're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and I'm using a fine sea salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Now I'm going to take my pastry blender and I'm just going to give that a quick stir to combine all of the dry ingredients. Now I need a half a cup, which is a full stick, of unsalted butter, and you want it to be cold. I'm going to take my knife here and I'm going to cut the butter into thin slices and just drop it into the dry ingredients that are in my mixing bowl here. Alright, so now I'm going to take my pastry blender and I'm going to cut the butter into the dry ingredients. And you're going to do this until, just like most biscuit recipes, that you don't have any pieces of butter that are bigger than a pea. And as you do this, the butter will stick to your pastry blender sometimes. If it starts to really bind up on there, just take a knife and just kind of scrape it off and just keep going. But making sure that your butter is nice and cold will help prevent that from happening too much. I have to tell you, when I first started making these, it was when our children, and the oven's ready, it's when our children were younger and Mr. Smith would hide the leftovers up on top of the refrigerator <laughs> to keep the kids from getting them because he would want to take any biscuits that were left with him to work the next day. Well, that worked until 
one of our children was tall enough to see where he was hiding them. So now I'm going to add in my shredded cheese. Just drop that in the bowl. And I'm just going to take my spatula and stir in the cheese so that the flour and everything just kind of coats all of it. That way the cheese will um, blend in a little bit more easily without clumping together. I need one and a quarter cup of milk and I like to use whole milk for this. Perfect. <laughs> Didn't have to open the other curtain. Alrighty. So I'm just going to pour in the milk. And now I'm just going to take my spatula and I'm just going to stir until everything is mixed together and you don't have any more dry flour anywhere. Now this particular recipe is for drop biscuits. That means you're not going to be patting out the dough and using a biscuit cutter or anything like that. You're just going to scoop the dough to where you're going to bake it and go from there. It's super, super easy. So now I don't have any more dry ingredients. Everything is nice and combined. So now I'm going to stop and I'm going to head over to the stove. But we'll take this along. All right, so now I'm going to prepare my skillet. I've got a cast iron skillet here. This is actually my grandfather's skillet and it has seen a lot of use over the years. And I'm going to turn the stove eye on just kind of a medium low. And I'm going to grab a tablespoon of butter. And I'm just going to melt this in the skillet get it a little bit warm. All right, so I'm just letting the butter melt in the skillet here. And I want the skillet to get a little bit warm, but not hot, not, not so hot that I, I fry the bottom of the dough. So this is just, just getting melted. And I'm taking my brush and I'm going to brush the butter around the sides. just coat everything really well. And I'm going to use my handy dandy muffin scoop to scoop out the dough. And just like that, your biscuits are ready to go in the oven. These are going to bake at 450 degrees for about 20 minutes. I do like to always set my timer a little bit short though. So I'll set it for 18 minutes. That way I can check them before they're all the way finished and just make sure that they don't need to come out a little bit sooner. But generally, these are always right at the 20 minute mark for me. And now while those bake, I'll wash my dishes. And there you go, homemade, piping hot cheddar biscuits straight out of the oven, cooked in a cast iron skillet. These things are fantastic and they go great with any soup, any pasta, I mean anything that you would want to bread on the side, you can make these to go with it. I'm going to set this down since it's hot. 
So if you like that recipe and you would like more of them, be sure to check out my blog, cosmopolitancornbread.com. I have this exact recipe on my blog and I will put a link to it down below where you can print it out, you can save it on Pinterest or however you like to save your recipes. And there are hundreds of more recipes on the blog. So that is it for today. Thanks for coming into the kitchen and baking some biscuits with me. My name is Constance and I do at least three videos a week on homesteading, home cooking, and back to basics. So if you aren't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll talk to y'all next time.